Hey mates, we are at the uh, Hemi Matanga Memorial Reserve out the back of Waikanae. Just going on a little quick hike with my mate Boo Boo or Scooby is his actual name. Um, there's a few tracks up here actually depending on uh, what you want to choose for your fitness levels but uh, today we're, oh, no not that one, today we're doing the little 800 meter uphill walk. Scooby's got a bit of arthritis so that's the safest option for him at the moment. Usually when I'm on my own I do the T Arrow Operator track and that's uh, directly up that way. But today we're going onwards so enjoy. Boy Boo Boo He's a uh, old Boo Boo has just started getting his uh, arthritis medications last week so it's going pretty well for him already he had a really bad limp for a few weeks so uh, took him to the vet and they conclude it's arthritis but uh he looks kind of he looks much better now but nonetheless it's still there so I'm gonna keep him on it come buddy come on Scooby come on bud Good boy. I usually let him do what he wants, like sniff around and whatnot. Um, I've got to get home and cook dinner for the daughter. So that's kind of the priority at the moment. It's actually nice, well today's Sunday and it's really nice doing things like this especially on a Sunday if you work Monday to Friday. Um, I hope the camera's like at a good angle, it's kind of hard, difficult to tell when you've got a chest mount on. But <laughs> um, anyway as I was saying, doing walks like this on a Sunday or doing any kind of activity that you actually enjoy on a Sunday before work day Monday it just gives you lifts just well in my personal opinion it lifts my spirits up anyway it doesn't make me feel as you know you get that feeling of oh no it comes the next five days of work and it just feels like it's going to drag out and drag out but yeah doing stuff like this is really good for you especially for your mental health and if you've gone through shit in your life just doing any sort, sort of exercise is really good for you come boo boo good boy I've always been thinking like we work so many hours during our life like, I mean on a normal uh, 40 hour week you know you end up spending more time at work oh uh, you know with people I mean I don't I'm trying to, <laughs> I, don't, I want to say this in a in a respectful way 
but um you know it's kind of like we work so much spend most of our time at work with people that aren't as close to you as your family members um we spend more time at work with other people that we barely know more than just colleagues than with our own families and then the age of retirement is going up as well so by the time you've retired you'll probably only have like not even 20% left of your life to spend with your family members and your friends of course or anyone that really loves you it just seems kind of backwards I think humanity was in my opinion humanity is I mean like I'm not really a I don't know if I'm religious like I believe in God and stuff but I don't really go out of my way to you know go door knocking and telling people about him um But I will, like nowadays, we're just made to make, we, our job is just to make other people rich. Like the only well-off people in this world are business owners, directors, and CEOs. And it's uh, workers, like the everyday worker, slogging out nine to five a week is just working to make those top level people richer while everything the living wage goes up house prices are getting more expensive wages are staying the same yeah it's kind of <laughs> kind of naive to say like i don't know I just think this world is fucked in a way. I mean, I know it's fucked. It's like we try and put on this mask, this mask to pretend to pretend that everything's okay, just to get people to keep spending money. The only people benefiting out of it, as I said before, business owners, directors, and CEOs. For example, you can buy like. A Samsung Galaxy S21 when it came out, it was like the uh, S21 Ultra 512 gigabyte was two and a half grand. And you can't even repair it yourself, you have to pay an authorized dealer. Same thing with software piracy. I think it's like CS, the CS5 software. Back then it was. You just bought it once and you owned it forever, right? You can't even download it and use your software key or whatever you got to activate it with anymore. You have to buy the lay you have to buy the subscription one now. And that's ridiculous. Um Yeah. It's like it's this is this is nothing but capitalism. I don't want to get into politics about it. We all have different views about everything, but that's just my view anyway. So uh, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the walk, guys.
Hey, boy. Good boy. Show you the map if you guys can see it so we started off at Tui Crescent and then we took the southern track on the Kohi Kohi walkway this is the good one the Parata track you can go all around it's about a three hour hike this one is just the small one Easy one. Come buddy. Oh, and this is the end, by the way. Come mate. Good boy. Good boy. That's probably really not that stable. I'm really interested to see how well the GoPros much better how the GoPros uh, improve their hyper smooth functionality uh, this is the first GoPro I've had this is the GoPro Hero 10 it's got hyper smooth 4 um, it's honestly it's probably as close as to a gimbal as you can get but I'd really be interested to know if they can even make it even I don't know I'd never expect it to be as good as a gimbal a gimbal's just flawless um, but I'm really keen to see how they improve the hyper smooth functionality on their next generation GoPros um, what I learned about the so on the hyper smooth you've got four settings you've got all oh, sorry three settings I think on the 10 anyway you got off, standard, and boost. Standard um, is just normal view. Like there's no cropping or anything to help the stabilization. So you get a bigger view, bigger bigger picture, but the stabilization the stabilization isn't as good as boost. The way boost works is it gives you better stabilization which works by cropping out the video footage so theoretically if you like we're taking a video of something going over i don't know like driving a car going over bumps or something if you crop that video in you have a lot of room to counter those counter out those bumps if you know what I mean because you can move the cropped video around with those with the um, bumps if you know what I mean 
That's how boost, uh, hypersmooth boost works anyway. As far as I'm aware. Don't take my word on that. This is my first GoPro I've ever had. Um, but yeah. This is the end of the walk. Uh, it's just a little loop. 800 meters. But um, it's a nice one for a late Sunday afternoon. It's like 4.30 now. So yeah. Well thanks for watching guys. And uh enjoy your Sunday or whatever day it is in your part of the world. See ya.